In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement one hot encoding visually using Excel. Hey Data Geeks, my name is Kunal. I help you master data science through non-linear methods of learning. So before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out on any of the awesome tricks to learn data science. So let's get started. Now, I have with me a small data set to help you visualize what's happening whenever one hot encoding is implemented. So I have few variables like a binary variables, few nominal variables and few ordinal variables. And then I have our target here. I'm going to pick out one column for this particular example. That is the nominal variable one. And let's see how we can one hot encode that particular variable. I have the target, the nominal variable and just the ID for me to represent this example. And then once we understand this concept, we're going to then implement it on the entire data set. First, we begin by identifying all the unique values that are present within a particular feature. So I'm going to take all of these values here and then go to this place and say pay special values. Now, once I've placed all of these values here, I'm going to take all of them, go to the data tab and say remove duplicates. This way, it will remove all the duplicates that are present within that particular column. And then now I can place in a table that I have used to create this particular example. Now, within this values, you need to now create a column that will flag each of these variables within this particular data, right? So I'm going to take triangle first and show you how this is going to work with special values. So basically, I'll say if this one is equal to the above value, and I'm going to fix this value here, then I'm going to flag it as one else is zero, right? So that's how this triangle gets flagged. So I'm going to copy it and paste formulas. So that that way, wherever there is triangle, this formula will flag it with one. So this is where we try to flag any variable, any feature through the one hot encoding. Method. Now we need to replicate this for all of the other variables except circle. So I'm going to take this and say pay special values and transpose. So I get each of these variables uniquely in its different column. Now I need to replicate this formula for all of them. To do this, I have to do a small little trick on the fixing logic. Within Python, it's automatically done, but within Excel, you need to do this logic. I'm going to take this T3 and fix the column in this particular case by pressing F4 two times. Right. So this triangle gets fixed. So whenever I copy the formula towards the right hand side, it will be fixed and rows can keep changing. In the other case, I'm going to keep triangle not fixed in the column and fixed in the row. That way, whenever I copy the cell down, this one remains constant, but the column keeps changing from left to right. Let's see how that will be implemented. Copy that and paste formulas here. Now you can see that trapezoid is now marked as one wherever there's trapezoid. Similarly, polygon is marked as one whenever there is polygon, square for square and star for star. And for circle, it's going to be zero all the places because we excluded as the variables that are present here, excluding circle are able to explain this variable because of its absence. So this is how you implement the one hot encoding. And as you can see that it increases the dimensions of features for this particular data. Now let's see how we can implement the same thing for all the other columns that are present within this particular data set, right? So for this particular automation, what we need to do is ensure we have the unique values for all of these columns. Right. And for binary variables, we are just not going to take the unique values because it's either true or false. And some of them are already, you know, converted as flags. We just need to convert this one as another flag. So for bin, it's going to be easy. I'm just going to introduce another column here and I'm going to call this as bin three, you know, coded. And it's going to be if this one is equal to true then one else zero. So that way we have encoded this perfectly and I'm going to paste this for all of them, right? 
next for these ones we need to create a unique value list so that we can write the formula so i'm going to now quickly do this copy this create this here say data remove duplicate say okay and i'm going to place them here like this right so that's that's three of them but i'm going to reduce one of them so i'm going to delete this so only two of them remain here similarly i'm going to take nominal and ordinal and all of that and do it for the nominal one i'm going to copy here paste special values data remove duplicates okay remove one of them copy and then transpose it here okay you may have to transpose it here clear this one and we can shift it here okay so we have this one now similarly we're going to take this one here you know pay special values data remove duplicates say okay and then i'm going to remove one of them here so i'm going to copy this again transpose it in this particular place okay and similarly last one we have you can copy this pay special values data remove duplicates say okay and then remove one of them copy the rest of them pay special and transpose them so if I clear this i now have so many different variables now what we need to do is write a formula for each of these categories so that they are uh, basically helping us get the flags like we saw in the previous example here right so let's start by writing the first one for nominal zero so i'm going to say if this particular value i'm going to fix it in the column here in this particular case then is equal to the above value i'm going to fix the row in this case then one else is zero right so i'm going to now copy it for the two columns here and then drag it down for rest of the column so i get the blue and green for nominal one now i'm going to copy the same formula here uh, but except i'm going to change this one to this nominal one variable so that way I get it for all of these variables. Control R to copy it towards the right hand side and then down to copy it for rest of the variables. Similarly, I'm going to copy this for here, change this formula for ordinal one and then copy it till these four variables and then copy it down. Next, I'm going to do the same for the la last one here. Copy the formula, change this value to ordinal two Control R to the right hand side and then down to the or rest of the variables or rest of the uh, rows. So this way, we have one hot encoded all of these variables. The last thing that I need to do is copy and paste special values here. So now, once the one hot encoding is done, we need to get rid of those columns that are uh encoded right because we're not going to be using them in the in the modeling practice so i'm going to delete them or let's say hide them for now and then similarly i'm going to hide this one because we've already encoded this in this particular way right and then uh, i'm just going to now take the format that we have for all of them so that we have a consistent formatting for the data that is present here okay so we got this and uh, as you can see now we have taken the bin 0, bin 3, decoded them such as this and our target is obviously here, right? This is our target and the rest of the variables are encoded or, you know, are encoded in a way that the machine can understand it and run their algorithms on top of it. There you go, guys. This is how you run one hot encoding. I have implemented this visually using Excel. And if you like this video, you're going to definitely enjoy the one that I create using Python and discussing in detail what it's going to be looking like when you implement this using python thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel